Hi, this is Joseph Tan here from GoodMonday.com. How to be firm and gracious at the same time. Now, at first glance, these two terms seem to be at odds with each other because when I'm firm, how can I be gracious? And when I'm gracious, how can I be firm? Is it really possible to be exercising both of this at the same time? Let's think about it. Now, if you are firm with an individual without being gracious, without showing grace, then what happens is that you apply a lot of pressure. Uh, pressure to the other person to conform, pressure to the other person to follow your instructions. Whereas if firmness is coupled with grace, then you become persuasive. Uh, you are able to uh, get him to do uh, what you want and follow your instructions, not because really you tell him to but because he wants to do it now this uh, this is the advantage of being communicative in a firm way but with grace as well now what does it mean to exercise grace in your communication now on the other hand if all your communication is just full of grace without uh, any sign of being firm then 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 nothing really gets done because you you are actually pandering uh, to the other person's uh, feelings. And just demonstrating grace for the sake of showing grace uh, might cause the other person to be self-centered, focusing more on his emotions and feelings that you lose sight of the goal. You lose sight of the bigger picture because achieving goals and the bigger picture in life do require you sometimes to act uh, against your emotion, you know, taking the step to be uh, out of our comfort zone and out of our ego. And, uh, and that cannot be done if it's just all based on grace alone. So how do we exercise grace in a firm way and not just in a mushy, sentimental uh, feeling uh, type of an approach?